lovelies welcome back to my channel uh, today we're gonna be talking about getting a job in Cayman and first off the bat I just want to say when it comes to this LinkedIn is your best friend all right I just want to tell you how I came to finding a job in Cayman. It was absolutely not even something I did consciously. Never in a million years would I think I would be working in Cayman. This was actually happened just kind of like accidentally. But I'll show you like my path and how I ended up working here. And it was mostly through LinkedIn. My history is that like maybe about two years ago, I was just getting restless and I wasn't happy in my first job that I've had and I'd been with that firm for a long time like I've been with them for years and I was just ready for a change so I had I used to talk to an someone who used to work in HR and just like in general and they were like I'm like oh how do you guys like find people and then they're like oh sometimes you can find them like through LinkedIn I'm like oh okay maybe that's and I, that, that got me thinking I'm like maybe that could be a way I could find a job but anyway moving on so linkedin has this button in the back where you can turn on when you're looking for new opportunities and you just kind of put like what industry you're in um where you want to work and i promise you i didn't even put gay man but i just put like my industry i put like because i was in the states so i put like a couple of cities out that i think i'd want to live in like houston san francisco la my new york city like i, I was just writing anything out because i was like you know if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't so i just put everything in there so once you turn that button on it's on for a good six months so boom i turn the button on i just kind of forget about it i'm living my life going to work same old same old so after like a few weeks even to the point where like i wasn't really even thinking about it um this recruiter came and he like kind of like reached out to me he's like hey i see you're looking for new opportunities like came in as a growing industry is there anything that would be that you'd be interested in and my initial reaction was like oh hell no hell to the no to the no 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 i was just like what the hell cayman islands but also the idea of being on an island intrigued me but i was also like gosh I'd, i've worked so hard to like be here i like had all my paperwork in good order like for me to just up and leave so my first initial reaction was like no internally but that's another thing guys like when somebody is trying to present you an opportunity always always hear them out so i that's a thing i live by so i was like i'll hear them out like i'm probably gonna say no but let me hear them out so i was like okay cool like let's just schedule a call like you tell me what this is all about like what you guys are looking for what you guys are expecting i kind of tell you my expectations too but then i got on the call and this guy was like so full of energy like i've never seen a recruiter with that much energy like it was crazy like it was funny it was like okay you are so excited about this opportunity sir and then i was like okay cool i was in my back of my mind i was still like no and then he's like okay like i just wanted to kind of feel you out and like kind of like see where you're at with everything and then i was like yeah cool like if you want to proceed with the next steps sure like i'm down and then he's like okay then I didn't hear from this man for like, I would want to say two months, but I didn't hear from him for a long time since that call. And at that point too, like my own work was like picking up. I had like forgotten about it. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. Then he reaches out to me. He's like, do you want to, do you still like want to interview? We have an opening and you can interview and take it from there. Then I was like, okay, cool. And so it was like two rounds of interviews. So I think this is a whole video in itself of how to prepare in an interview. So anyway, I was just spent like a lot of time that he sent me like the profiles of who's going to interview. So, so it was two stage interview. So he sent me the profile of who's going to interview me, like the general um, information about the firm. So just for in, in preparation for the interview, I was doing a lot of like research on the firm, on the industry and everything. Just because you never know what they're going to ask, right? They could ask you what do you do every day to like how do you feel about this growing trend of da 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 so i was doing my research and then like as luck would have it like it's just something that i do like if i have like and i wouldn't say people don't have that many interviews in their lives right like i don't know if i'm if i have like a meeting an important meeting and like questions might be asked like i always like research so then i was doing my research and stuff and then my brother-in-law was like 
what's that about like because i was visiting them for the weekend and i'm like oh no it's just like this came and thing this company wants me to come over there and i was kind of like yeah hey, whatever and then he's like sis k-man what like you better take that opportunity like you better take this seriously and i'm like what <laughs> what and i'm like i don't know it's not that deep and he's like this is really good like this is any young person's dream like you you know i'm married you don't have kids like you can just go and just save a ton of money you won't be paying taxes like live your best life and you know kind of because the contract my contract was like two years so i was like okay it's just two years and then i'll take it there from two years and being here right now guys i don't know if i can do just two years like i really like it here and i can see myself like spending a good amount of time here so then he was just like yeah just like take it more seriously and like give it your best shot and i was like okay cool so then i interviewed and was like with the senior manager and then a manager that was the first round and then the second round was with the director and that went really well like i felt like we hit it off like he had zimbabwean friends like we talk about zimbabwean stuff and like just work and i feel like we had like i don't know i just kind of like really liked it then i was like okay well that went well like now i'm just like because you know like i i actually wasn't gonna take this job so now i'm like oh that actually went really well and i'm kind of impressed so then i was i had to think about am i gonna take it and then um i asked like all my close friends i asked like my parents like what do you guys think and stuff like that and eventually i was like yeah i'm gonna take it so when they were like deliberating i was deliberating too <laughs> i was i'll actually take it and when they came back and they're like you have an offer i was like yeah i'm gonna take the job and long story short after a whole lot of paperwork i am here and i've been here for a year and it's just been i mean i'm not gonna lie like i said in my other videos like there are parts of my journey that have just not been fun at all but i'm very happy like i'm grateful for all of it that i'm here and yeah so that's how my story of how i got a job in Cayman if you are interested in moving in Cayman like don't even be shy like just like comment or like DM me can you even DM me here on YouTube I'm not sure but like my Instagram is in the bottom so find me on my Instagram and we can talk about it and like I can kind of like give you kind of like tips and advice or whatever you need if you're trying to move here but yeah I would say for me that's why it worked and I wasn't even consciously trying to come to Cayman it's just like that's how like LinkedIn worked and I'm here now so LinkedIn is your best friend put that as an option another option is if you're trying to move here I know I can speak for like my industry but I think for most industries they're like recruiters online on they on LinkedIn all the recruiters will recruit for Cayman and just kind of reach out to them and be like hey I'm looking for like a position even like hr within the firms that you're trying to like reach out to find them on linkedin send them a linkedin message and be like hey i don't be like kind of like oh i want to interview and i want to interview tomorrow but like just kind of approach it of like i'm trying to learn i'm trying to like gauge if it's a good fit for me and be like oh do you want to can i do like an informational interview like this is something i'm thinking about and it might be a next step for me i just wanted to get more information and more more often than not like people are really like want to help and want to help because it's like they're benefiting too you know if you're, if you're a good talent and you're talented you know what you're doing and you're a strong team member like they're benefiting too and like they would like listen to you and stuff like that and you have to be diligent with it too like you have like it has to be almost like a second job where you're kind of hunting down these recruiters and kind of like reaching out to them like following up when you don't hear back and don't be a bugaboo like don't do all that but just try to be very aggressive with it because it won't come to you you also have to like put in the work for me i was doing that anyway but like not with cayman in mind it just happened that way and i am very happy with my decision anyway guys thank you for watching i hope this was helpful in your quest to find a job in cayman or you just randomly want to know how to get a job in Cayman. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget the drip. Smash the like button and subscribe and comment and all the good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.